Wayne Davis. I'm the curator of the Blue Whale here in Catoose, Oklahoma. Uh, I am the son of the man who built this and the son of the lady who ran this operation when it was a swimming hole. Uh, I was born in Oklahoma, born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Christmas Eve in 1941, and today is July the 30th of 2010, and I'm still here. Uh, plan on being here a little longer. I want to welcome everybody to the video on the whale, and enjoy your visit on Route 66. Davis, the gentleman that built this, Blaine's dad, was an amazing man. And when you start hearing a little bit, and our, our goal is to try to get out some more of the history of him. And you know, he, he was the administrator uh, at the Mohawk Zoo for almost 32 years. And a lot of people don't even know that. You know, and this, this tremendous amount of uh, love for animals and knowledge. And he used to go around to all the schools and, and uh, educate the kids and uh, to both Tulsa Public Schools and Catoosa, everywhere. My name is Lee Belt, and I'm the grandson of Hugh Davis, who built the whale. And uh, I spent most of my childhood here. Uh, I would come over with Hugh when he opened the blue whale and stay pretty much all day and then help him close it down. And spent my entire life swimming and fishing here. And then uh, now my, my daughter, Hugh's great-granddaughter, comes and feeds the fishes several times a week. <laughs> he was very imaginative, so everything he did, he did to the nth degree. So if he built something, he built it big, and he built it large, and he built it to be, you know, kind of flamboyant. And, and I think the blue whale was um, built for, you know, our family kids to come and swim and have fun, and then it opened up to the public because people were kind of sneaking in, and then everything just kind of expanded from there built for just kids to enjoy uh, and everything that he built. Some of the tables up here he built for my first birthday party, uh, the heart tables up here. And you know everything about him was just building stuff for people to enjoy and for kids to enjoy. He absolutely loved kids and uh, I'm sure he would be uh, awestruck at all this about how famous the blue whale has become. So it became heavily overgrown with all kinds of underbrush and stuff and was really uh, in sad shape. Uh, the whale at the time was just painted, so the paint began peeling and cracking and looked terrible. Uh, they had taken the diving boards down to keep people from swimming in, but people would still try to come in and swim. Uh, the bathrooms were not functional, so they decided to tear them up, and they just began destroying the place. And we decided, look, we can't have this. Uh, so in about '95, we reopened, not as a swimming hole, not as anything, but just primarily went in and literally took a brush hog and cut trails where you could come down from the parking lot, go to the well. And see it and take a picture of it and leave.
best known icon of Route 66 in Oklahoma, if not the whole deal. Uh, people see that, they know where it is. They know it's in Oklahoma. They may not know exactly where it is, but they know that's on Route 66, they know it's in Oklahoma. Biggest icon. We uh, this summer, whenever we had big Route 66 fans, and they bring their book. They like uh, there was a group from uh, Paris or from France, and they brought their Route 66 book in French, and the blue whale was at least two pages. Thank you all for uh, joining us. The first ever lights on of the blue whale. Uh, we hope to be doing this on an annual basis. Uh, we're a group of uh, about 10 or 11 volunteers that. Uh, really believe in our little town, Katusa, and we wanted to promote it. And one of the first things that we felt needed to be promoted was the blue whale. It's such a big part of our history, and uh, we and most of you here either have relatives or have uh, uh, swam here at one point or another. And uh, we uh, it just brings back a, a tremendous amount of memories. And the reason we we're doing this also is to uh, raise money to help keep the blue whale up and running. Uh, we've got some other ideas as well. Uh, we're going, we hope to do some work on the ark and some other things as, as time goes by. And uh, so over here to my left there's a little white mailbox has a slot in it and that is where we accept donations. So please uh, feel free to do that and uh, and if uh, you know if you feel the need use larger bills so there's more room for other people. Okay <laughs> so you can do that. And uh, uh, first thing I want to do is uh, introduce uh, Mr. Kibbe for the school superintendent, and he's going to do the invocation for us. Thank you. Shall we pray? Dear Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to gather together as a community and around a, a symbol of our community worldwide, Father, and thank you for the people that care enough to take time to redevelop and just work here, and Father, help us as a community continue to unite together and Father, as we turn on the lights tonight on the Blue Whale, we just pray that people would recognize what Christmas is all about, the light of Christ. And Father, that this Christmas, that we truly would share Jesus with one another and glorify your Holy Son in all that we say and do. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. to Katusa if you don't live here and of course thank you Katusans for coming out to light up, turn the lights on, Mr. Blue out there, the Blue Whale. As most people know, Blue Whale is a international icon on Route 66. These wonderful, wonderful group of volunteers have set out a course to make the blue whale, what he needs to be, to be recognized, to preserve him, and to enjoy him. So again, volunteers, thank you so much. So, uh, without further ado, I think it's time that we light up the blue whale. What do you say? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Starting with ten. Here we go. has to offer you know Katusa's growing there's a lot of things happening with it right now and it's still a small town atmosphere and just want to remind everybody of that plus highlight Route 66 you know and Route 66 is a big part of Americana